Okay, my friends, so it is now Saturday. I'm ready for the day. I still haven't self-tanned, I really need to. But I am working on thawing out some things. Let me show you. Because I got a HelloFresh order. So I'm thawing out the Melty Monterey Jack, the meat for that, so it's ground beef. And then I'm also thawing out some chicken to make pecan crusted chicken. And I think I might give one of these away to my uncle because I actually had two deliveries. So I have six meals. The one just came like a day and a half ago though. So I still like don't think I'm going to be able to cook six meals um, for just me. So I think I'm going to give him one so he can cook some for him and my uncle. And um, they can, I think they'd really like it. So he's supposed to come over today. My Uncle Butthead, I call him, his name's Rich, but we call him Butthead. <laughs> so he's coming over today, so I'm gonna let him choose which one he wants. I do think I'm gonna keep the pecan crusted chicken and the Monterey Cheddar, or sorry, Monterey Jack burgers. Um, and then he can pick like one of the other, what is that, four? And I don't care which one, because um, they all sound pretty good. So I don't care which one he takes, hopefully. He will want one, and if not, then maybe my dad will just eat it. Because I cannot, I can't make six meals. That's just tasking too much, first of all. Because <laughs> I don't like to cook that much. And two, I can't eat six meals by myself in a matter of a few days. So, I don't know. It's hard too, because like I live at home, so I feel like I'm always sharing the kitchen with three to five other people, depending on who we have over, like family-wise, and that's fine, like I obviously, love living at home or else I'd move out but it's hard when my mom's cooking dinner for the family or my grandma um my grandma doesn't live with us but she comes over a lot and her and my mom will cook meals together so on nights they cook I don't cook or I go out to eat a lot so it's like six meals really isn't realistic and I didn't even mean to get that many so I skipped the next order and the next the following order so in like three weeks or two weeks it's gonna be a quick and easy I picked from that this one's like meat and veggies or something I don't know I forget okay so as you guys know I've been reorganizing and rearranging a little bit um, of my room today so the main thing that I have done is move now I did not make my bed move my mirror over here and I put this lamp and book area over here um, it's still kind of hard to see because, you know, I'm slightly backlit. There we go. But I think it'll be good, like, if I'm not wearing all black to do an outfit of the day. And then I have a lot of laundry to do. Like, a lot. So... And then this is stuff that I'm going to be donating. I just have to, except for this basket, I just put that there so it was out of the way. But um, I'm going to donate all of this stuff, uh, purses and some like Halloween costumes. And then in the Forever 21 bag, I have CDs that I found in a box randomly when I was cleaning out my closet a few weeks ago. So all of this has been a work in progress, but I think I'm also going to go through my clothes and see like what I want to get rid of because there's a lot of things in there that I'm not wearing and things like that so probably just going to do that here tomorrow or in the next week or two and then I'm finally gonna do my gallery wall I think this is probably gonna go I'm not sure I haven't decided I also found this in my basement which it's super pretty but I honestly don't think it really matches my room um, I don't know though. Maybe I'll keep it. I want to keep it for like my apartment one day whenever that comes. Um, hopefully soon. <laughs> but I'm probably going to be talking about it for a while now and and it's just going to have to be something that comes whenever the time comes because I want to pay off all of my debt which I've been saving a lot of money to do that so that's been really cool and like encourage myself to keep going because I know I can do it you know. So anyhow, um, I'm going to put the gallery wall together probably this weekend or next weekend. This will be coming down. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I was going to hang it on this wall, but I kind of like my mirror right there. So I might hang it over there. We'll see what happens. And then my mirror, I have this mirror over here. 
I don't know where I'm gonna hang that either. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Just ate these for a snack. Um, they're pretty good. I didn't expect to like them. There's 18 grams of protein in them, four net carbs. Uh, this is obviously the nacho cheese flavor in case you didn't read it, but it's pretty good. Also, I put up my Canton, Ohio sign, or not sign, map up here. I'm watching Laura still. Um, I feel like the hook, okay, it might be just a little bit big for this spot, or the hook that it's hanging on needs to be over this way just a tad. But I don't know if I'm that worried about it right now. I kind of just don't want it sitting on the floor because that's where it's going to go if I don't put it on the wall. And I'll probably end up adjusting it later. And then I'm going to put something else here. I previously had my wreath there, so I might put something a little bit smaller right there. So we'll see. Also, this perfume, the Black Opium, I feel like it has really been popping all over the internet. I absolutely love this perfume. The only thing I would say it's not quite as strong as like a Versace perfume because I'm really used to my strong Versace Eros perfume, which is this one right here. I can do like a full perfume collection maybe in the future, probably closer to summer because I want to get like one or two more to add to my collection. I did do a fall winter perfume collection video about a year and a half ago, so I'll link that so you guys can go see that because it's really good and I have like a lot of I show most of the perfumes I have um, I've gotten some new ones since then so I want to start like a perfume collection of like really pretty perfume bottles so there's like a couple of different ones there's like this Oscar de la Renta one that's like gold and it's like it's like flowers like in, engraved on it basically it's really pretty and then there's also this other one, I can't remember the name of the brand, I'll put it on the screen along with the bottle, but it is basically shaped like a mermaid. And from the de description of the floor, the not floral, I don't know, I think it does have floral notes in it. It has like floral, amber, I don't know, something like that, but I really want to try it. But the thing is, like if I don't like it, I'm afraid that I won't be able to send it back. So I have to read their website return policy if they even have one, but... I really want that bottle just because it's so pretty and then um but um Scentbird is like a really good subscription service for something like that and if you don't like it you can send it back so maybe I'll look into that just to see like what actual perfume bottles I want to add to my collection like the beautiful ones and also I want to try Dossier because that's you know like I'm not gonna spend $250 on a bottle of perfume I think I'll cap it at like 150 so if it's more than that then I'm not gonna spend it I don't know what the Oscar de la Renta one is but I know the mermaid one is not more than 150 pretty sure my friend Jasmine she is always like in the vlogs she's like mentioned on the vlog you could hear her voice but she never really wants me to show her but she just got dossier perfumes and she loves them and she got the YSL Black Opium dupe from Dossier and I smelled it on her and it smelled pretty darn close. I would say the only thing is it's not quite as strong. However, I think she had been wearing it for like a little bit, maybe like an hour or two by the time I smelled her wrist so it wasn't like I smelled it right away. But it smelled just like it. It was super bizarre. <laughs> and I think that's really cool that there's a perfume service out there like that that if you want a more affordable version of perfumes and you don't care about the way the bottles look like me, um, then, you know, Dossier might be something you want to try, which I want to try it too because everybody loves it and it just seems legit and I know that it actually smells like what the real perfumes are based off of what Jasmine has. But I would say my favorite uh, perfume of all time is... <sighs> a tough one I would have to say it's Dolce & Gabbana light blue and then I really like Versace Eros I, I can't choose between the two I they're both amazing I can't choose so I don't know I feel like light blue is more of like a summery springy scent so Versace Eros is more of like winter fall fall winter whatever I'm saying the seasons backwards but those are really good and then what other ones do I like like, for cologne-wise, like, for men, my favorite cologne, because it popped in my head a couple minutes ago when I was talking about it, is Armani Mania. Giorgio Armani Mania. Oh, my gosh. 
it smells so good. Like I just, thinking about it makes me just want to go buy it and smell it. <laughs> just because I just think it genuinely smells so good. Like I would. Okay guys, so now it's another day in this part of the vlog. And I think it was the next day when I filmed this. But anyway, it is Monday here. I'm getting ready for work. And I decided I wanted to show you guys my makeup routine. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And it only takes me about five to six minutes. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys that. Um, because, you know, for work, I don't always have a ton of time to do, like, you know, full face. So I've tried to keep it pretty simple, but still, like, pretty and so I can feel confident in my best. And I honestly feel like when I feel, like, when I put a bit of makeup on, it, it makes me feel a little bit more confident. And not to say that you have to have makeup to feel confident, but I don't know. It just gives me that extra boost. It's kind of like a supplement to confidence you know what I'm saying so anyway first I use my covergirl press powder and I just use this as a foundation it has pretty decent coverage and it also lasts a while I feel like it's the only thing about it is like whenever I go to put on my concealer or something it's sometimes I have to spend a little bit of extra time blending because it doesn't like it kind of glues the makeup in the rest of the makeup onto your face if that makes sense um and then I just use a bit of blush this is LA colors I'm not sure of the shade but I'll put it on the screen or in the description box below I got this at the Dollar Tree it was literally one dollar it's like a rosy shade then I use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Swan I think I want to get a darker shade of concealer and a lighter shade of the press powder. In fact, I did a short a couple days ago and <laughs> a couple people commented about how badly my foundation did not match my skin and they're not wrong. Like I actually laughed pretty hard because that short got like 20,000 views and I did not think when I made it that it was gonna get like more than like 100. <laughs> so to literally have that like multiply by 20 I, I, I just or what I don't even know what 100 anyway I'm terrible at math you you know what I'm saying <sighs> wow that was really bad math too because wouldn't 100 times 20 be like a really big number <laughs> not 20,000 whatever anyway um so then I feel like even if I don't want to like do all of this the most important thing that I feel like I need to do for work is my eyebrows especially when they're not super thick like right now I have them grown in pretty thick but here they needed filled in so I always use my NYX brow lift pen this this pen is awesome I think I use the shade taupe like I said I'm going to put all the colors and shades in the description and the full names and links of the products so don't worry but it doesn't necessarily matter what shades I use because they're not really the shades that look the best on me all the time so it's really important to just like find your shade that works best for you the only thing that is hard about these products is like if it's a if it's a drugstore product it's kind of hard to decide if it's going to match your skin or not because there's not really any tester samples so it's just something you kind of have to wing <laughs> so that's part of the reason why my makeup doesn't always match up but I don't really worry so much about the perfection of my makeup for work because, you know, it's going to be on all day long and I just kind of want to look presentable. I'm not really worried about looking like a beauty queen. It's more of like a presentable professional makeup look, if that makes sense. And then I decided to contour my forehead, which I don't normally do, so I must have just been in the mood to be a little bit fancy. Um, this is by Maybelline. It's their um, contour or concealer wand. You can pretty much use it for whatever you want. It's a really great product. I'm sure you guys have seen it on TikTok because I know it was like super viral on TikTok for like a long time. And then I decided to put on a little bit of lipstick. Again, this is a Maybelline product. This is one of their cream lipsticks. I'll link the shade below. I really like Maybelline's products. I also really like some of their foundations. Super awesome. And then I decided to take my hair out and that's pretty much it, you guys.
Here's the outfit of the day. I'm wearing my purple sweater from Rue 21. And then my pants, I believe, are from JCPenney. And they're just black dress pants. And then this belt that I'm wearing is from Goodwill. And my boots are misguided. You know what's really annoying, you guys? This is not even a problem. But I just want to say that my pillowcases fall off almost every night in the middle of the night. And I don't know why. So, thankfully this is a pretty new pillow, so it doesn't look like horrible or anything. But I wish the pillowcases would just stay on because it would look way better. Anyway, that has nothing to do with anything other than the fact that I don't have a pillowcase on my pillow. And it's buried in my blankets. And also, my lips are torn apart right now because of this weather. We have had some severe, harsh cold snowy weather so um my lips are like so chap and they are cracked and all that gross stuff so it's not it's not pleasant but anyway today's monday so i'm a little groggy i didn't really sleep last night i haven't been sleeping i've only been getting like five hours of sleep every night or six and i need about seven to nine to feel energized but I still feel like I've had a pretty productive day I've done yoga and I need to fold my laundry like really bad but I might just do that later this week which I have plans tomorrow night and Wednesday night so that's gonna put it off until Thursday which by Thursday I'm gonna need to wash more so I really should just do it but um so I thought I would update you guys on some things that I've been doing lately. One thing is I've been reading Cleaning Up Your Mental Mess by Dr. Caroline Leaf. She's very smart. I've talked about her like once before. How I listen to her podcast from time to time, which is Cleaning Up Your Mental Mess. And she just basically talks about how to restructure your brain so that you like, like restructuring your brain with your mind by how you think like being conscious of what you're thinking about basically and then re reconstructing that thought to something that's positive um and then that will actually change your brain to have a more positive experience and be able to handle life in a more positive way it's very interesting and so i'm doing the neuro cycle um which it's a five-step process that you do for 63 days and you basically just go through the five steps, which is gather so you, like, become aware of, like, what you're thinking about and how you're feeling, mostly. And then you analyze it. I think that's the second one. Third is write it down. Fourth is you recheck it. Like, you read over what you've written and you, like, look for patterns and triggers and then... The fifth thing is like, it's called active reach. So it's basically just like taking the mini lesson from the day of, at the beginning and applying that to every situation that you go through throughout the day. And it sets like a little reminder on your phone so that you remember to practice that like thought process, basically. Like today was like standing back and being like almost looking at yourself through a third person like like third person point of view where you're like talking to yourself almost like if you were another person but you're talking to yourself if that makes sense so it's really interesting how she explains it I totally just made it sound super like not smart <laughs> um but she's super interesting so you guys should totally check out her podcast I will link it below as well as her book, Cleaning Up Your Mental Mess. It's really good and it's really helped me just understand the human brain and mind. Um, and it's just, it, it's just really cool. So uh, throughout this little series, I've been, I had this verse come to mind. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. 
Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Other versions of the Bible, that was the New Living, but other versions say transform your mind. And I think that's really interesting because all of our thoughts start in the mind. And like that's what Caroline Leaf's whole scientific study has been about like for all the years that she has studied the neurocycle and the brain and the mind and just like how everything works and ties together but it all starts in our mind and how we think and how we what our, what our perspective is what our behaviors and emotions are and like what is the origin story of a toxic thought that causes us to act and think the way that we do and a lot of the times our mind will suppress these thoughts because they're really hard to deal with and like very toxic but they're still there and they're still affecting our daily lives and it doesn't even have to go back to childhood it could it could and it doesn't have to be like a super traumatic event that's like life and death it can be just like toxic people in your life that may have told you something about yourself and that you believed it and then through that belief you, that's how you deal with things now because you think and believe what that person said about you in your mind I don't know if I really explained that well, but anyways, <laughs> that can lead to toxic mental health issues like depression, anxiety, um, all that kind of thing. And it's just really interesting. It's just super interesting. I could talk about, talk about it all day and it makes me want to study it like in school, but I don't think I will do that. <laughs> Maybe I will. I don't know. But anyway, so I just wanted to share that. That's kind of like what I've been doing. Pretty much that's all I've done because it's snowed and the weather has been really cold. So I haven't really gone anywhere um, between yesterday, um, Saturday night, and then like other than work today because we got more snow. Which is fine because it saves me money because I would be tempted to go out and spend it if it didn't snow. I would be like, let's go out to eat. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. But instead... It snowed, so I have to stay home. So I've just been laying here in bed since I did my neurocycle exercises for the day, editing my night routine, and that's it. Just chilling. Um, I was going to show you guys cooking dinner, but when I came home, my brother had already cooked the food I was going to make. <laughs> he cooked it for, like, both of us, not just himself, but... I was gonna like use that as content. I have some HelloFresh orders that I can cook other days this week though, so I'm glad I didn't have to cook today. That was very nice, but I also won't be eating dinner here tomorrow and possibly not Thursday, uh, Wednesday either. Maybe Thursday though, I don't know.